Hey everyone, it's Morella here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do a really easy to do hair painting technique using Kenra Professional Clay Lightener. And I'm gonna finish my model's hair in a really beautiful copper brown color. So stay tuned and check it out. So my model came in with mostly virgin hair. She just has a few hair painted pieces throughout the front. And we really wanna go through and brighten it up just a few levels, which is why we're gonna be using Kenra Professional Clay Lightener. Now I did mix up the clay lightener, one part clay to two parts of 30 volume developer, and it still has a nice, really thick consistency, which is great for open air hair painting. So what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and section my model's hair into three sections, keeping in mind her natural part. So she does kind of part naturally, right, a little bit kind of down the center, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave that be and just clean it up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna section it coming right down behind her ears. So now that I have it completely sectioned, I'm gonna go ahead and work from the bottom up. And my favorite sectioning technique anytime I'm doing hair painting, especially when it's their first time kind of doing the entire head, is I like to come up right behind the ear and just bring a diagonal section right on down. And part of this is just mimicking the hair's natural fall. So we're just gonna create kind of a V section and then clip this away. So in order to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and start by weaving out a little bit of the underside of this section. And the reason for that is because I wanna create a little bit of depth on the underside so that we, we have a little bit of contrast as well. So now I'm gonna start hair painting and what I really love to do is create kind of a cascading type of hair painting effect, meaning I'm gonna paint a little higher on the exterior of each of the sections and come down a little bit when I get to the interior. And the reason for that is again, kind of adding a little bit of depth and I'm gonna pinch my section and just moving my arms in a very swift motion, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this on. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. Now I'm completely done with my very first section. And as you can see, the pattern of the clay lightener comes up a little higher on the exterior and just kind of feathers its way down through the interior. And again, therefore it's gonna give you a little bit more depth and contrast, which is really kind of mocking the natural lightness that the hair would achieve if it were sun kissed by the sun. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next section. And what I'm gonna be doing is just going completely straight across. Now on this section, I'm gonna do the same exact thing, kind of creating a little bit of a weave on the underside to create that contrast and depth. And on this section, I'm gonna do something um, more of a V-shaped pattern versus a half V, which is what I did on the exterior. And I always kind of get most of the product on through the mid shaft of the hair, and then I start to work the product up. That's kind of the best way for me to apply my clay liner. 
especially because these ends I really want saturated and this helps give you a little bit more tension, but just keep in mind you're gonna want to keep your section pinched so it kind of helps you create that V shape for you. So I'm just gonna continue on with the same exact pattern, creating the horizontals on each side and then coming right across, but still keeping with the same um, painting pattern as well of painting a little higher on the exterior and tear dropping it down, creating that half V. And in my center sections, I'm gonna create a V-shaped section, but still leaving out a little piece right underneath to create that depth and contrast. So now I'm completely done applying the clay lightener through the entire back section. And one of the reasons why I really love clay lightener is because you can process it open air and it's not gonna bleed onto the other sections of hair, especially these little pieces that I weaved out. And the other thing that I really like about clay lightener from Kenner Professional is that it has a very creamy consistency and it's actually gonna lift up to seven levels, which I totally love and it's just mind blowing that a clay lightener can be that powerful. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on through the front. I already pre-sectioned her, so she has it parted right down the middle and I went ahead and just cleaned it up just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do with each of these sections on both sides is I'm gonna split this in half right on the parietal ridge where the hair starts to curve. And then what I'm gonna be doing is diagonal forward sections and hair painting away from the face. So that way she has a lot of brightness, especially when she pulls her hair up into a ponytail. And then for the very, very top, we're gonna be taking diagonal backs. So they'll be painted a little bit more towards the face and it's gonna give her a really beautiful brightness. So what's really important as you start to work towards the face is just really kind of fine tuning these really baby, little tiny baby hairs right here in the hairline. And that's really gonna help it make, look, it make it look even more natural. So you can always take a different brush with just a little bit of lightener on it. And just make sure you get a very nice light saturation just for a little bit of brightness. Just keep in mind the more lightener that you apply, the brighter end result you're gonna get. So we're just kind of lightly stroking on this lightener towards the front of the face and getting all of these little baby hairs. You can even go as far as taking a mascara brush and just kind of getting in really good with those little tiny hairs if you really wanna detail it perfectly. I'm gonna continue on with the other side, just taking the section right at the parietal ridge. And I'm going to section 
forward diagonal, and then on this very top section here, diagonal back. So the beautiful thing about open air hair painting is that it's very visual and it's all about you kind of figuring out and visually seeing exactly where you want those lightened pieces to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let my model process open air for about 20 to 30 minutes and we'll kind of see where she's at and then we'll rinse her and then do her final color melt. It's been about 30 minutes and we went ahead and washed out my model's hair and I'm totally obsessed with the way the placement came out with the clay lightener and we got definitely a few levels of lift which is great and lots of brightness throughout the front. And now I'm gonna get ready to do her final glaze. So her hair's a little damp still. There's no need in this case to dry her hair completely because we're not looking for maximum saturation. And the reason for that is because we're gonna be using a warm shade for her glaze. If we were doing something a little bit cooler, I might go ahead and dry her hair, but since we're gonna really embrace these warm tones that she's lifted to, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the damp hair. So for her root area, I went ahead and mixed up equal parts of 7CG and 8BRM, and I'm gonna color melt that through the ends with 10 bronze metallic and 8C. very last piece and now we're just going to process this toner for about 20 minutes room temperature and then she'll be ready for her final blow dry. So here is the final result of the hair painting with Kenra Professional clay lightener and 30 volume and then we finished up her glaze with 7 CG and 8 bronze metallic and color melted that right into our 10 bronze metallic with 8 C. What I really loved about this technique is she has really beautiful bright tones right in through the face and around her hairline, but in the back she has a lot of depth still going on, but still lots of brightness too. And right before her blow dry, I used Kenra Professional Voluminous Touch Spray Lotion generously throughout her hair to give a nice beautiful hold and volume. And then I went ahead and curled her with a one and one quarter inch Marcel iron and then finished her up with Kenra Professional Texturizing Taffy just to kind of get rid of a little bit of the flyaways. So I really hope you liked this tutorial and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.